and floods have been keeping mountain communities on edge. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Firefighters continue battling the Antelope Fire in Tehachapi and are slowly making progress tonight. The fire has been burning since noon today, but hasn't yet been fully contained. And 23 ABC's Gracia Aguilar joins us now live with an update on those conditions. Gracia? Good evening, Jackie. Well, about 150 firefighters are still out here trying to battle that antelope fire. And officials tell me they've made about 30%. They've contained the fire to about 30%. And they're really hoping to get a leg up with the current weather conditions. Dry conditions on land mixed with tropical moisture in the air is a recipe for disaster. Our investigators are looking into the cause, but we had multiple lightning strikes within the area. At noon today, a 50-acre fire scorched across the Tehachapi mountain top, believed to have started by a lightning strike. As of late this evening, fire officials say the blaze is about 30% contained, but crews are not calling it a night. At this time, we're working on the containment line around the fire, usually utilizing hand crews and our bulldozers. So this is what's called a portable dip tank. It's just like a pool that holds a lot of water. And this fire engine right here behind me pumps the water through this hose and sends it on over to crews that are closer to that fire. There are two staging areas where crews have set up their equipment. Close to 150 firefighters from Kern County, Cal Fire, and the Bureau of Land Management are working to put out the embers that are still smoldering in the area. Today, the fire was burning pretty hot and aggressive. It's in steep terrain and heavy fuels. So the evening, we'll be able to get a lot of work done. Officials say they hope the cooler weather will help crews make more progress. I'm going into the evening. We will have some help with the humidity level and the cooler temperatures, and hopefully we'll have a, a better hand on it by morning. And as for local residents in the area, only three communities have been given voluntary evacuation notices. So fire officials want them to know if they remained at home just to uh, monitor the situation so they're aware of what's going on. Live in Tehachapi, Grecia Aguilar, 23ABC. Grecia, thanks. Have